In this video, you will see how to perform topography analysis, watershed segmentation, catchment areas, water drop path, and so on, with the CIENC and the PHM roles with the terrain preparation application. In this example, I imported a large point cloud, I extracted a filtered portion of it with adaptive filter and LiDAR categories. See the large point cloud tutorial for more information about that. I then created the terrain from it and can now switch it to the polyhedral modeler using the enable for 3D design command. I can then launch the terrain topography analysis command, which contains several different capabilities. First, I can compute ridges and valleys from the terrain. Notice that I put the minimum length slider to its maximum to get only the longest ridges. We can also filter ridges and valleys to visualize only the steepest one using the minimum slope slider. I then compute the valleys. As an example, if I decrease the allowed minimum length, we can see that more ridges and valleys will be generated. I can deactivate the ridges and valleys by clicking again on their icons, and I need to click on apply to update the visualization. Second option in there, is to visualize the slopes of the terrain. The yellow dot points upstream, the line downstream. Third option is the watershed segmentation that will create all the basins based on the depth threshold parameter that will allow you to merge the basins or not. Each basin has a different color and you can see the outlet, the black dot, at the lowest point. You can export a report for the watershed segmentation that will generate for each of those the perimeter, longest path lengths, depths, area, lowest and highest points, outlet coordinates, and so on. Also, by clicking on a specific basin, you can rename it, change its color by clicking on the color palette, visualize information, such as the longest path, for example. If I re-export it, notice that the new name has been taken into account. Fourth option of the panel is the water drop path. For all options, you can quickly change the color by picking the colored line. Here, by hovering over the terrain, it will display in real time the water drop path downstream of the mouse location. It is also dependent of the depth threshold parameter. By clicking on the left mouse button, the path will be kept, and if I click on OK in the panel, it will be saved under the Terrain Topography feature. This means that I can work with it. For example, I can switch it to Polyhedric Modeler to be able to create a point on this path, or intersect it with a plane or a surface. That could be, for example, the location of a dam. I can then split the water drop path by the point and going back to terrain preparation and the topography analysis command, I will be able to compute the catchment area of my river till the dam location. This is the last option of the topography analysis panel. It will generate the catchment area for my stream. By clicking on the green surface, like for watersheds, I can modify the name, change the color, and visualize information such as perimeter or area. This information can also be exported for further analysis. Finally, in terms of topography, it is always important to be able to display the contour maps to have a better understanding of the elevation. Check the Create Terrain tutorial for more information about this.